boing, 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 boing. So the other day, one of my racing buddies comes up to me and he says, hey, Greg, do you have something nitro I could borrow? I've been racing electric. That's all I've ever raced. I want to try a nitro car. And so I thought, you know, well, I have a truggy that I'm not running right now. You could borrow my truggy. And he's like, oh, great. So um, part of that is I have to give him a starter box, too. And I don't want to give him my Lozy starter box specifically for the 8 because I want to keep that for my 8 buggy. So I had this dynamite ready start starter box sitting here. And I thought, hey, I could set that up for him. That way he could have his own starter box. And while I'm doing that, I thought, why don't I shoot a how-to video on how to properly set up a starter box? So if you need to set up a starter box, follow me over to the workbench and let's get started. All right, so this is the Dynamite Ready Start starter box. It's a dual motor starter box. And what's really cool about it is it's got two 775 motors in there to power it. And uh, it'll run on you know nickel metals, or lipos uh, you, you have to provide the battery with this you can even put a gel cell in there it's got all the cradles and stuff for all the different types of batteries uh, and it works on uh, a scale buggies and truggies so it's a great starter box uh, to check out if you're looking for something universal so let's just take a quick look at it all right so there's the box right there really well packaged and what's really nice about this starter box is look it's got the guide plates already assembled on there i like it already because i built so many starter boxes in the past and you got to fiddle with the uh the guide posts for a while and this just makes getting your your buggy planted on here a lot quicker so uh, let's just take a closer look at the inside really quick just in case you're interested in this starter box and then i'm going to show you how to set up a truggy on it and it'll be the same process for a buggy here are those guide pins got a pretty nice uh, long adjustment on here for the front and rear plates these pins here these slide around to help brace the chassis we've got uh, uh looks like a wire harness for the different batteries it does have tamiya plugs in there probably gonna have to get rid of that cradle here this looks like for the gel cell and it's got a nickel metal uh, cradle in there as well probably not going to use that what i'm probably going to do here is velcro tape uh some uh lipos down so it's got a nice uh, motor set up in here look at those two huge motors that should really give it some spin power yeah that's that's the switch and it's got an on off switch here so you can shut the power off really nice well constructed starter box got a nice finish feeder already installed on the bottom and as you can see you could even adjust the uh, motor assembly right here so it's a nice starter box I really like that i'm gonna throw this back on and then i'm gonna go grab my truggy and i'm gonna show you what you need to do to perfectly set up your car on a universal starter box. Here I've got my Lozy 8 Truggy and it's a little dirty. Don't judge me. I haven't had time to clean it yet. But first thing I gotta do here is rip out the engine because that is the key to setting up a starter box properly. Give me a minute. I love MIP drivers. Should give props to my Tamiya pliers too. All right, so now I just gotta take the engine out. Now I'm ready to start setting up this starter box. First thing you want to do is make sure all your pins and, and guide plates are loose. I need a Phillips. Where did my Phillips go? Here it is. I gotta loosen up these guide pins here. So now my plates are loose, my guide pins are loose. And now all you have to do is drop the truck in place. Now let me show you something. Come here. All right, so see with the engine out, we could see exactly where the wheel is. And really what you gotta do is make sure it's just centered up top here is we could move our guide plates and guide pins around. And what we kind of want to do is get them as far forward to pinch the chassis. And then we can push our pins in, push the pins in. All right, so we got, we're centered there. And you could even push down just to make sure that that wheel comes up in the center. So now that we have the wheel directly in the center, we know it's in the center because we pushed the chassis down, made sure that that starting wheel popped up right in the center of the flywheel opening. Now that, and now that we have all our pins in place, simply tighten everything down. I like to do it nice and snug, gently pick up the chassis, make sure you don't slide it around when you do that. Now hold the plates down and tighten those down so they won't move. 
And now I go back and I tighten down all the screws. Don't go too far because it is plastic. You don't want to strip it out. So now it's all ready. It should be all set. Now from, from now on when I go and I drop my starter box on here, I know everything is perfectly lined up. It's really that easy. I, I know a lot of guys are saying it can't be that easy, but it is. I, I've seen a lot of people, though, what they do is they try to eyeball the starter box. They go down below and they come in the back because their engine's in there. Take the extra two, three minutes, pull your engine out. That way you get the perfect sight over the flywheel opening and you can see that starter wheel coming up in the perfect center of it so it doesn't cause any problems. You don't want to go and you know have it offset because it causes starting problems. It wears down the wheel and nothing looks sillier than you trying to start up your car on the on the pit lane and there's smoke pouring out of the rubber wheel. It's just not a cool thing to do. So I hope those tips helped you on setting up a universal starter box. Now this is a Z 8, so they do offer a box specifically for this buggy, uh, excuse me, this Truggy, which also works on the buggy. Uh, so that is pretty neat if you're a Z owner, but if you own any other vehicle, this Dynamite starter box is a pretty neat starter box to pick up. Thanks for watching RC drivers. Now, if you could do me a favor and click that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. I don't want you to miss any of our upcoming videos.